Hey everyone, what is going on? How you all doing today? We have another shoutcast in the Open Great League, taking a look at a Medicham Pelipper and a beautiful shiny Shadow Charizard. Now this trainer, I believe they had said they went 9-1 with this team, but we only have one set, I think, uh, in this shoutcast. But yeah, I mean, look at looking like a powerful team. We have a double wing attack team with Pelipper and Charizard, and wing attack Charizard. It is a legacy move. In fact, this Charizard is double legacy with Blast Burn and wing attack. But it's so good now. I mean, the fly is absolutely dominating. Right, absolutely dominating the open Great League, and Charizard with Wing Attack. I do think it's worth the investment for the Elite TM if you happen to. I actually have a Charizard with Wing Attack uh, for the Great League. I didn't even have to invest in it, so absolutely amazing for me. But anyway, this Galvantula is tough for this Pelipper, obviously, and even for the Charizard because Charizard is taking super effective damage. They do go ahead and shield it, uh, but the opponent is down two shields, which is good, which is good. Uh, so they're going to be able to throw an attack, and this is going to obviously KO. Lunch is going to actually no, they undercharge that. Uh, so out comes Charizard. Charizard will be able to wing attack down, but it does have a two shield advantage, which is looking pretty good. Oh, Swampert coming in. Um, Swampert will be hit with this blast, but it will do a lot, even though Swampert is resisting it. But uh, it's not going to KO. Can you wing attack down? If you double shield, you definitely can. Can they make it to another one? I'm not sure. Let's find out. So the Hydro Cannon will be shielded. Uh, do they make it? They do not make it. Charizard able to wing attack down, and the opponent is going to concede, and that is going to be a beautiful win there. Very well played. So let's go ahead and move into the next one. Yeah, Charizard with wing attack, really, really powerful, uh, this format for sure. Picking up a great matchup. You'll love to see it. They're going to go ahead and go into the Venusaur. Out comes Charizard. Really love to see it, of course. Um, this is not necessarily one-sided, because the Sludge Mom will probably almost KO, if not KO, the Shadow Charizard, right? So... We're going to see a, a, a nice overfarm, beautiful overfarm, and then the Dragon Claw. And this Dragon Claw obviously going to be enough to KO. They do shield it. They want to get off another attack. Charizard can shield and farm down, and it has so much energy. I think it's worth it. Yep, going to go ahead and do just that. And if they bring in that uh, Stun Fisk, obviously the Blast Burn going to do a tremendous amount. Actually going to just like KO it. So they do bring it out. Uh, going to go ahead and go straight for it. Yep, I don't think it's worth baiting. If they shield, you still have the Meta Cham, right? They do go ahead and shield. Can you make... Oh, still able to make it to another one. You don't even need the meta champ for that stun fist. This definitely KOs. I'm hyped. Um, yep, KO in it. In comes Noctowl. Yeah, this is going to be a beautiful win. Able to get to another blast. This Charizard is just sweeping up the format here. Charizard is going to be able to go for the blast, but not enough to KO. Almost is going to bring in Pelipper to get the win there. And Pelipper is going to be able to finish it off. Going to get an absolutely beautiful win there. Moving on. Okay, um, you'd much rather have this now, right, than in the back. So this is actually not that bad, um, because you'd rather have the Lantern and lead, obviously, right? You don't want the Pelipper on it, you don't want the Charizard on it, so this is totally fine. They do throw the Surf. Um, a little bit more trickier, probably, I guess, if you don't have um, the Power of Punch on the Meta Cham, right? But this is still fine here. They're going to be able to throw another attack. I think it's just another Surf. I mean, Meta Cham doesn't have to shield it. Yeah, it is another Surf. Um, they do switch out actually into Nine Tails. Okay, gonna be able to farm down before the Charizard can come in. Uh, Charizard is definitely coming in big again. I, so Charizard, even though it's resisting Charm and technically Charm was nerfed this season, Charizard is still taking a lot from Charm, right? I mean, look how much damage it's taking. <laughs> so gonna go ahead and go for the bait. I'm not sure that they're gonna shield. Maybe they will. You know what? Maybe they will. They do shield. Okay, beautiful bait there. Uh, kind of risky, but it obviously paid off. Gonna go ahead and not bait this time. Gonna just throw the blast, but this will be enough to KO the Alola Nine Tails. They do go ahead and shield that. And now out comes the Pelipper. Pelipper wants to get to a Weather Ball, not before being hit with a Weather Ball from the Nine Tails. Will the Pelipper shield? It will shield. Probably maybe over from a little bit. Um, yeah, actually gonna over from a lot. <laughs> Almost gonna go for the farm down. Nice counting there. They may have just gotten to another move, so gonna be able to throw this Weather Ball that will KO. Uh, in comes Noctel. Gonna throw the Hurricane right now. And this Hurricane is not gonna KO, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. Um, so much damage there. And able to get to uh, a Weather Ball. Very nice. So this Weather Ball is coming out. And still not gonna KO the Noctel. Noctel is really tanky, but it's gonna do a lot. This is gonna KO the Pelipper though, so gonna let the Pelipper go. Not that you have a choice, but uh, gonna let the Pelipper go anyway. That's fine. Shots are definitely going to wing attack down. Uh, they actually switch into Lantern, but the Lantern is going to go down to this Dragon Claw. 
There should be a good win here because a wing attack will KO the Noctowl. Yep, going to be a beautiful win. Actually very close, but going to be a really nice win there. So able to take that one. You love to see it. Let's go ahead and move into the next one. Metacham into Galarian Stunfisk. You absolutely love to see it. You really do. Uh, they're going to switch into the Swamp and Alchemist Pelipper. Pelipper does really well here. Even if they have Sludge Wave. Uh, I think this is just Hydro Cannon, right? I think this is just Hydro Cannon. Uh, it is, so... Still does a decent amount, but that's totally fine because Pelipper easily able to take it. Gonna go ahead and throw this uh, attack right now. And one more will be enough to KO. Not able to get to it, not before this Hydro Cannon, but it is just a Hydro Cannon, so Pelipper does not have to protect itself. Um, and gonna be able to throw this uh, Weather Ball. This will KO the Swamp It. Uh, and yeah, they're just gonna let it go, makes sense. In comes Galarian Stunfisk, but the Pelipper will be able to get off a Weather Ball. Very nice. Um, this is amazing. We'll have to see what's in the back. Obviously, the Charizard gets to avoid that Swamp It, which is really nice. Um, gonna, they're over farming. I think I think that was a CMP tie, actually. So, able to get off another one. You love to see it. You really do. Um, so, now, yeah, that was a CMP tie. You're going to be able to count it down with the Metacham. Uh, I wonder if you can actually wing attack down with Charizard. But we're probably going to see the counter down, right? Yeah, going to see the counter down. Oh, no, you wouldn't have been able to wing attack down because they would have gotten to another attack. So yeah, going to be able to take this Rock Slide, and you know it's just a Rock Slide. And now in comes a Charizard. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Trevenant really not having a good time here. Uh, we do see a Shield. I really like this team. I actually might uh, try this team. Um, I do, as I said, I do have a Wing Attack Charizard. I just don't have a Shadow Wing Attack one. So I might, I might Elite TM mine. I, this is a really cool team. I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and move into the final battle of the video. Lantern in the lead, you love to see it in the lead, right? Um, because, I mean, even though this is not necessarily like a great, great matchup for Metacham, it's okay. I mean, it's kind of like neutral. At least you know the Lantern is not in the back where it can face the Pelipper and Charizard. That's why it's a good matchup. Uh, so Metacham is going to be able to throw this Psychic right now. This Psychic is going to... Is it going to connect? It is going to connect. And they're going to be able to throw an attack. Is this just a serve? I think it's just a serve. Uh, it is a serve, so Metacham not going to have to, to shield that. Even if you lose switch, like, if they shield, I think they could farm down. Uh, but still, at least you get shield advantage, and they're very low. They're just going to let it go, okay? Uh, makes sense, makes sense. They're going to bring in Jump Pluff. Ooh, Jump Pluff, and now you're going to have that Charizard. So what does it have? Acrobatics? It has, um, yeah, it has Acrobatics and I think Energy Ball. So the acrobatics will do a lot, so it might, yeah, it, it's worth investing the shield here. It might be worth investing that shield for the acrobatics. Uh, we'll see if we're going to see a bait here or not. We are going to see a Dragon Claw bait. Um, let's see if they shield. I mean, a Blast Burn obviously would KO, so they do shield it. Um, and now we're going to see a Blast Burn. That was a beautiful bait there. Shadow Charles is able to pick up those shields. Uh, Blast Burn going to be enough to KO. Easy. Uh, in comes Machamp. Ooh, this is amazing. <laughs> Backline. Uh, this whole team, actually this whole team as well gets fighting tags. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.